so the purpose of this video is to show the application of the, the zipline wound closure system and then also to show how it stays on um, in max flexion. So one of the main concerns about using the product is um, does the product work and, and does it stay on um, in high tension areas such as max flexion and an ear replacement. So first, I just closed the subcutaneous layer. Um, and so now the part of the closure that I'm at is the subcuticular. So at this point, um, the PA or the surgeon would either close with staples, a fine uh, subcuticular suture, and then typically a, a glue-based product. Um, but instead, we're gonna be using um, the zip line product. So again, subcutaneous layer is closed. Make sure the incision area and the area surrounding the incision is perfectly dry so that the zip line can adhere. Take your dirties off so that you have nice clean gloves. And then here's the zip line. You'll see it's very self-explanatory. There's two tabs, number one and number two. You start with tab one, you pull it up and away. And then you apply the zip line, you put one zip tie proximal to the most uh, proximal portion of the incision and you lay that area down. You make sure your incision is centered on the zip line. You peel tab two back as you gradually lay the adhesive portion down, leaving the incision at the center of the zip line. You run it all the way down until there's one zip tie distal to the most distal portion of the incision. And then you cut the zip line to size. The last thing you do is you pull each zip tie about three clicks by holding the little knob and pulling it three clicks right, each sir. zip tie. If you um, feel that different areas of the incision need different amount of closure, you can you can um, do a few more clicks and you can even loosen them up if you if you've over tightened. And then finally, you can use suture or bandage scissors to cut the tabs. I prefer suture scissors because they're less bulky. And that's it. And then what we do is we apply a piece of telfa over the zip line. It just protects it from any gauze um, and from the gauze getting stuck on the zip line. Then you can put your gauze and any other uh, dressing materials that you prefer over the incision. And that's it. And then in a minute here, we'll take all the drapes off. And this patient had the contralateral left knee replaced six weeks ago, closed with the zip line. Um, and so we'll show what the scar looks like at six weeks post-op in a minute. So here's the zip line. You can see in max flexion, the incision stays closed. There's no oozing whatsoever from the incision. And the zip line stays in place. And then if we look over here, the patient's contralateral left knee was replaced about six weeks ago and closed with a zip line. And that's what the incision looks like at six weeks post-op.